Good morning and welcome to Fort Seller Elementary School. This is your principal, Mr. Lin, and I hope that you had a wonderful Tuesday yesterday. Today is Wednesday. The month of May begins today, May 1st, 2019. It is day four. Now, before we kick off this wonderful day, please consider the word perseverance. That's a character trait we are highlighting all this month of May. Think about what it looks like. What does it mean to you? What should it look like among your friends? What should perseverance look like when nobody else is looking? Remember, perseverance is all about doing the right things and never giving up and continuing to try. There are times in our life where we are working towards a goal and we want to give up. And having the courage and the bravery and the strength to say, no, I'm going to keep pushing is a sign of perseverance. It is something I've seen many of you guys do all this year, but it is something we want to be extra mindful about as we celebrate that character trait this month. Now, our three expectations here at the school are number one, we all know it by now, being respectful. Number two, being responsible. And number three, showing that you are ready to learn in the cafeteria, ready to eat, and on the bus, ready to ride. You get the gist. Now at this moment, I want to invite you to, to participate in something else that is very important and is very much a part of allowing us to be ready for school, and that is our mindful minute. You can be seated in a chair just as I am right now. You can sit crisscross applesauce as I have loved to do recently. You can stand, you can lay down. Choose a position that allows all five of your senses to really open up. And, and, and to really be aware of your current setting. Now, one thing I do want to point out is if you're really interested in mindfulness, before you close your eyes, I want to introduce you to this book. It's called I Am Peace. I actually read this book out loud to some of our uh, little students, uh, the kids who are going to be in kindergarten next year at the Richland Community Library. They loved it. There are so many different ways of focusing on our breathing. Um, in this book. It's called I Am Peace and it's about mindfulness. Go try to find it. I don't know if we have it in our school library, but you could definitely find it in our um, local library here in Richland. Okay. Now go ahead and close your eyes. If you don't want to close your eyes, that is completely okay. I like to close my eyes because it does allow me to be much more open with my other senses, much more aware, if you may. Go ahead and breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth and really enjoy that breath really appreciate the opportunity to breathe in once again hold it and savor it and allow yourself to breathe out nice and slowly and as you breathe out allow yourself to sink into your chair the floor whatever surface is holding you up and be still allow your senses to open up the sense of smell the odors and the scents that are around you the obvious ones and the subtle odors the sense of touch, the feeling of your clothing rubbing against your skin, the warm or cold air as it breezes by your face. Always focus on breathing in and breathing out. You can choose any technique that we've taught throughout the year, starfish, flower in the candle, some of the techniques that I've shared with you because you came up with them. Whatever allows you to be grounded and focused on your breathing and in your place right now, right here at Fort Zeller. And then at some point, turn your attention inward to your physical sensations, the aches and pains, the parts of your body that feel healthy, maybe the itches that you have. 
And then also notice the parts of your body you don't often pay attention to, like your pinky toe, the tip of your nose, maybe the middle of your back. Always breathe in, always breathe out. And finally, get in touch with your feelings. Feelings of happiness or sadness, things that make you feel good or bad, but don't be too judgmental about it. Just simply sit there, study it, sit with it. Feelings of anticipation or nervousness about the future, just remember, you're only right here, right now. The future hasn't happened and the past has gone by. If your mind wanders, be kind, be gentle, and bring yourself back to enjoying your breath. In, out. Now in a moment you'll hear a bell or a chime. Listen to it as it gets quieter and quieter and when you can't hear it anymore, you may slowly open your eyes and awaken to the world around you. Welcome to a new day right here at the fort where you are loved, where you are cared for, and where you know we want you to succeed. Now, whether you have a great day or not is ultimately your choice. So choose wisely, work at it, and enjoy the rewards. At this moment, please stand and face a flag for the Pledge of Allegiance. When we get back, we'll sign off and we'll kick off to a wonderful new day here in the month of May. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Great job. Now, we are going to take a break from our kindness challenges. That does not mean that you should stop being kind and taking care of yourself. Find your own challenge. Challenge each other. Try to meet the challenges someone challenges you with. Okay? But we are in the month of May. It is our last full month of the school year. I'm actually kind of sad. Some people might be counting down the days to the summer, but as I like to share with you, I like to think that I have about 30 some days left with you all, and um, I'm really going to savor it. I think it's going to be a great day if you and I make the conscious decision to make it a great day. So without further ado, I'm going to send you off. Enjoy it. I'll see you around. <laughs>